Uh, good morning. 4.27 a.m. on the 7th. On the 7th, 18th, 2016, Ross Jason Boehm Live. Human control, human dictatorship, laws, ethics, human right violations, 1 to 50, 1 to 1,000, whatever you'd like to say. Keep getting pop-ups on my screen. My computer's just starting up. Well, unethical treatments that... Uh, harm a human being from an existence that they had before that doesn't enhance their life or make better taking away livelihoods so they cannot work and make more money to eat live a better lifestyle or live less in jailing them so they cannot get up and get upright and walk properly run breathe swim drive a car comprehend, talk, thought, and believe in life, human right violations, the right to a, a better health, a better lifestyle, adequate lifestyle as well, 25, a degradation of their lives because treatment harms them from an existence, human control slash trafficking of a person, enslavement, serfism, to con show control that a person can't find a job, a person can't work and obtain a wage that's fair, just, and equal to one who is telling them how to do the job and doing their job because they're the teacher teaching you, such as a journeyman, meaning if you're doing what they're saying, then you're doing their job and have the right to equal pay as them because you're doing their job that they could do, meaning equal pay. You're stealing from them. I shall not steal a Ten Commandment if that person in the modern day cannot find a livelihood in life and a job. You've enjailed them if they have to live on social services or on the streets or under the roof of the Salvation Army, or a church, or any other organizations for any time period because it's not their home that they're renting or owning. A jail is a one-room building, or apartment or condo, or even a condo itself without land around it. that one can walk in its own yard. As the Romans say, insulate, a slum, built for many centuries, usually with merchants underneath them. But now we don't, but they still are insulates because the basements can be converted or were designed at one time not to have living. Because they don't need that many merchants in the world. Human control, the right of a, a business license to prove that you have the credentials, degrees, and education to uh, run a business, work in a business, and to uh, have that livelihood and specialty. Doctors, trade workers, artisans, whatever you'd like to call them. Apprenticeship is someone learning in that area of expertise, that cult, religion, or college, or organization they're working under. All the same thing, their belief, their rights to believe in. A world that's supposed to be round, not flat, of an existence that's been there for thousands of years that we're born into and have to accept the fact those are the rules and regulations that we have. Not what we have in our brain that anything is possible, but it is. The sky's the limit, what they teach us. 
from K to 12 that anybody can do and obtain and have anything in life. Human right violations, ethics, and laws. Treatment that harms a human being from its normal human dignity and existence in the 21st century in a free country called Canada that I live in, that uh, we have not seen freedom ever, enjoyment of life, enjoyment of a real family, enjoyment of love, I guess, that hasn't been human controlled and dictated that one can live a better life by obtaining an education or renting a church or an organization that's supposed to be good. Fair wages, fair treatment, equal protection before and after the law, and so forth. The violations of human rights, laws, and ethics. If your treatment doesn't want to enhance the life and make better, just like working, if you're not making enough to live by, is a cruel act of punishment. It's torture. It's an assault. It's abuse. It's a criminal offense of control. It's in jailment because you have to live less and they're segregated where you can afford to live by. And your address dictates where you are living and you have discrimination. People don't want to hire you in that area you live in because that's discrimination of segregation by how much money you have and where you live and what clothes you have by adequacy to live a certain standard of life. Showing a class of person from a uniform to bare naked people by the muscle mass of you have on your body, by how much work have you put into your body, how much testosterone you might have compared to another person and physical strength because somebody human controlled you from birth by taking away your hormones or adding hormones to your body to make you stronger or weaker healthier or sicker and wealthier or enslaved as a slave because the dollar bill controls us to live our lives and if we can buy a coffee or not or food or a ring for a wife or a car slash vehicle to get around in from water land and air and to a uh, obtain any college or degree by the education, by what education you had from K to 12 and so forth. Equal rights to protection of self-defense not taught from K to 12 from birth on how to self-defend yourself like everybody else either. So we don't have equal opportunity to live in society and equal fairness. Because he or she knows more than you do. How to mislead into a bait and trap. The rules of business. Not to uh, have a product or a dwelling or business that one enters in a trap-like device. That I can't drink a glass of milk, enter a restaurant or a store without being misled to intent to harm me psychologically, physically, or mentally in drinking, eating, or buying a product that's going to harm me in some way, even financially, because it's a piece of shit garbage and no good for you. And to have the same higher standard of living for this person or that person. But the understanding that, yep, some people have more money than others because that clan or that family has saved money better than somebody else. Ah, the starting of kings and queens and abilities and everybody under him, the, the feudal system. That probably still exists today with the hidden fact that they have fake parliament just to make you think you have the right to vote, but you don't ever vote on what they have to say. In parliament, their courts, their church, house of uh, rule of the country you live in, territory, 
or area, state of Rome, which is many, which segregate and dispark, supposedly, in a sovereignty as Britain did, and Germany, Switzerland, Czechoslovakia, Poland, and so forth, all following by the same King James Bible, or Bible, just a little bit changed. The church, who originally organized education and who had firstborn rights, who learned everything and went to church, and education to learn, to rule their kingdoms, and to join their Roman military to defend Rome and work for them, and pay their tidings, which we pay our tidings every day, called taxes. Taxes on goods, and services, and our house taxes, to the infrastructure society, where we're doubled twice to reuse it again, whatever infrastructure they have set up. And since the beginning of time, we've had recreation and sports. What else can one say? Human control and dictatorship. Cruel treatments that uh, don't enhance life. That uh, in Vega and such drugs as weapons started out of many different parts. From your hand to rocks and sticks and stones and spears and bows that were original guns instead of pulling back the string. To shoot a projectile faster and quicker to take out people quicker and chemical warfares that harm human beings and take them out quicker as well with less force than uh, a slap in the face or uh, the pulling of a trigger or pulling of a bow or throwing of a spear that's misleading because they just drink their water or eat their food and go to sleep forever. Telling them their treatment, oh, this is going to heal you, but it's going to spade, neuter, or sterilize you, and harm you from existence, uh, procreation, and enjoyment of life, and that you uh, are going to be in jail and never have a livelihood better than starvation. Just like WW2, World War II, in acts against humanity already proven in society before the law, and in the courts, that it was cruel to starve human beings and scurvy of the uh, people who used to come over in the boats, that, that they didn't have enough vitamins, this would happen, and mental cruelty and mental laws that say food is the number one thing for a mental illness and refuse to uh, give better Article 25, Article 5, degradation and uh, adequate lifestyle. Proper foods, proper clothing, proper housing, and proper education to exist in society to be able to uh, look after yourselves better rather than being jailed by social services, CPP disabilities, or uh, somebody dictating you can't have any more than this, like minimum wage. I don't know what else to say but human rights violations, ethics, and laws, that we have been misled into a bait and trap and a trap like device called education that doesn't seem to work equal or fairly before, before and after the law in any way. Point being, I don't know. Mentally insane? Don't think so. There is no territory, island, continent that we can go to I live in the continent of uh, Canada or North America. It goes from uh, Bonavista, Halifax, Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, where all the Newfoundlands live, to uh, Vancouver Island and Haida Gwaii, supposedly. More than 200 miles off the shores of North America. May asteroids fall, mud boil, 
the volcanoes go off, land to fold, and create these mountains like we're told. Asteroids hit the ground as well from the skies. Gases arise called CO2 that ignite and light us all on fire. As the asteroids hit like a nuclear bomb going off under the water, causing tidal waves or tsunamis that take out the coastal lines. New mountain ranges arise where land was before and waters rise and change. New continents arise so we can have a new world to live on, just like Genesis, the most violent book in the entire world about laws and regulations, wars of time, called the Bible. All stories taken from, it seems, and the archives of historians called our monarchs and churches. Ross Jason Bowen Lie at 4.44 a.m. on the 7th, 18th, 2016. I haven't lived a life of freedom outside of a human controlled dictatorship and no treatment have I ever gone through has it, has it ever enhanced my life or hindered my life in this uh, act of uh, obesity proving a sex change because gynomasculus boobs have been put on my uh, body Kevin Wheater, a doctor who violated human rights, ethics, and laws of this country, that I shall not harm a human being or bring harm, and the treatment that I was about to give you, Ross Jason Beaumont, from a doctor, would harm me in any way. From my health, from my past life of being able to run a mile in 519 or 6 minutes, or to swim a lap in the pool or river, and to enjoy life and to have sex, to be able to procreate and have children. You've genocide me and have tortured me and enslaved me to this room even more. You, St. Joseph Hospital, and our government. You've human controlled me, the RCMP as well, and my government, and have assaulted me for no reason. Without fair justice in the justice system of North America, Canada, by Britain as well, who used to run us in the world called New Britain before it became Canada. A dominion, I understand, according to uh, one of my grandparents, because uh, that's what it said on his card when he entered, because the Chinese had tax. Bok Yuan. As CBC says on his document, Beyond the Golden Mountain, which I can't find in archives either. Assaults of Jewish people, assaults of Irish people, and so forth in the country. But history says Jewish people used to poison people. Who doesn't have to go through a genocide in this country and human control and dictatorship when all I've done is being assaulted? by my government who says they're supposed to protect us equal and fairly and with your Superman badge discriminate against racism to somebody who's trying to find a better livelihood and that every government agency can't find money so somebody can live and have the uh, how do you say willpower to keep working because they hadn't been misled to work and be mistreated not to be paid to uh, be denied monies in life for their enjoyment. Why don't you work for uh, three years delivering newspapers or working and uh, not get paid like I did for my parents because I stole it and I couldn't have it in the future doubled or whatnot or kicked in the face by a little brother while waking up in the morning and not knowing how you woke up on the floor not remembering falling asleep. Violence? Violence is the provoker, the aggravator, assaulter, the premeditated act to rob a bank, knowing the whole time what you're going to do before you get to the bank, open the door and rob the bank, and those who planned it out ahead of time, all guilty by association, knowing what was going to happen, and know they could have stopped it at any time 
they wanted to. And the second they opened the door and walked in, was past a no return. That they couldn't stop doing what they're going to do. Just like if you're stealing from a store, as soon as you leave the doors of the store and you haven't paid for it, it's theft within 10 feet of leaving, not within the store. 10 feet of the door. Have a great day. This is all common sense that I was taught even beforehand, but I had to uh, read it and uh, confirm it in my brain by uh, Justice Institution of British Columbia. That's right. Justice Institution of British Columbia, our newspapers. And uh, Productivities, ViewSonic, Shaw Cable that uh, the internet uh, won't harm us in any way, our uh, other stuff, but uh, you get the point. Treatment that harms us, misleads us, and... Uh, Garbage they call technology that uh, always has to be uh, upgraded in this last uh, 50 years of crap that financially harms us and controls us because everything's too overpriced to live in society, including that piece of land. If you go back to uh, the Encyclopedia Canada, Rupert's Land, the settlements, sod houses and everything else that you type in their search engine that uh yeah we used to work for pennies and uh pay a hundred dollars for a hundred acres or uh 1.5 million dollars for uh three provinces that was rupert's land how much did they pay for bc we don't know they just joined canada didn't they did they buy it from did canada buy bc we don't know Alaska was bought by the United States from Russia for a million dollars, supposedly. 